I'm gonna just plug it real fast because it's, it's a real stupid thing. How can you? Who the hell cares? <laughs> it's Sunday <laughs> with David. Like you heard of Sunday in the George with pa- Sunday in the George. What is it called? Sunday in the Park with George. Sunday with David. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to call this blog. This is how crazy it is. We have many friends in Toronto. Some of Andrea's friends. Two friends called Andrew yesterday. Two friends that we love and adore. And the, the, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, they're all b- very upset. They're crying very upset. Here's why they're upset. The girlfriend sold her house. She feels like she got ripped off from her house. She sold it. She feels the ripped. The builder ripped her off. The real estate agent ripped her off. Everybody ripped her off. She wants to hire a lawyer. She wants to hire a lawyer. I see what the hell's going on. How that she got ripped off. She should have gotten more money than what she got. The boyfriend says, you don't need to call a lawyer. I've been in the real estate business for years. I know what I'm talking about. Now, the boyfriend's been in many, many businesses. No matter what you say, I've been in the restaurant business. I've been in the building business. I've been in the shoe business. I've been in the, I've been in show business. Every business he's in, he knows what he's talking about. So the girlfriend was very upset that the boyfriend wouldn't agree with her. Why won't he agree with me? He won't agree with me. If only he agreed with me once, I would be thrilled if he only agreed with me. That's only that matters. Has nothing to do with, had nothing to do with anything. Had nothing to do with that. She wants to call a lawyer. It was her house. It wasn't the boyfriend's house. She wants to call a lawyer. So what does he care that she wants to call a lawyer? She doesn't want to call a lawyer. He says, you don't need to call a lawyer. I know what I'm doing. She's upset, not because that she got ripped off, not because the builder ripped her off, the real estate ripped her off, everything's going to cost her a fortune for lawyers. None of that's upsetting her. What's upsetting her is the boyfriend won't agree with her that she should call a lawyer. He never agrees with me. He never, why can't he agree with me once? One thing I want, he has to agree with me. That's, that's the only reason, that's the only thing that's bothering the girlfriend is that he won't agree with her anytime. That doesn't matter what the thing is, he won't agree with her. Is this the crazy, she was crying, he won't agree with me. And him, he always has to be right. I'm right, I know what I'm, t- why won't you listen to me? I know what I'm talking about. She won't listen to me. Both crying. <laughs> He's crying because he knows what he's talking about and she won't listen to him that, and she, that she shouldn't call a lawyer because he knows what he's talking about. This was my Sunday yesterday. It's so crazy. How can I not talk about it? It's so crazy. He always has to be right. He knows what he's talking about. And I love this guy, but he says that he has no idea what the hell he's talking about. He just says things without knowing anything. He just says things. And I never want to embarrass him saying, oh, do you know? Did you speak? To-? He says, nobody wants your products. I said, have you spoken to my sales guys? No, I haven't spoken to them. I said, how do you know? Have you spoken to the customers? No, I haven't spoken to them. I said, how do you I know that I don't want them. <clears throat> then Andrea took some consulting gig, consulting job, whatever the bullshit is. She's telling me that she's owed money. She doesn't know how to ask for money. She doesn't like asking for money. She has to send an invoice. She's expecting the money. She's expecting a Friday. She didn't get the money, whatever the bullshit is. So I said, well, maybe you should... Um, not be so dependent on this one gig and then start uh, hustling. She's always on, on LinkedIn. I have 10,000 friends on LinkedIn, 100,000 friends on LinkedIn, half a billion friends on LinkedIn. She loves LinkedIn, hasn't made one penny from LinkedIn, but she's telling me, Brad, you should see who's looking at me on LinkedIn. So many people are looking at my profile. It's unbelievable. The biggest CEOs are looking. Mark Cuban's looking at me. Kevin O'Leary's looking at me. <laughs> Everybody's looking at Andrea. Hasn't made one penny on LinkedIn, but she's always telling me how wonderful LinkedIn <laughs> I just laughed at other things I can tell you too that I'm not telling you. So I said, maybe go look for, go all on LinkedIn, start just sending out resumes or, or contacting other companies or doing other things so you don't put yourself in this position. Because if you do business with corporations, you sign a deal, you sign agreements, they send you money. When you do business with sole proprietorships, when it's one guy that owns it, he can tell you whatever he wants. And he can screw you over. You got to stop doing business with sole proprietorships with one guy. What are you going to do? One, one guy? Do business with corporations. That's what you got to do with. And then what, what does she Andrea say to me? You don't believe in me. You don't think I could do the job. <laughs> now, whether, whether Andrea can do the job or whether I believe in Andrea has nothing to do with Andrea. It has not, my belief on anything. I'm a Jew. I believe in, in Judaism and God. I believe in Passover. That. But that's nothing to do with, well, nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with Andrea. Whether I believe in Andrea, can do the job. I, I have belief in Andrea. What the hell do I care? It's Andrea, it's not me. Andrea has a concern. She said she's owed money. She has to go after the money. Well, the, the, so if she's concerned, as her husband, as her friend, whatever the hell I am, I'm giving her advice. She's, I, she didn't say, Dave, what's your advice? She's just complaining to me. So when 
Like Andrew's friends complaining, he won't agree with me when people complain to me for some nutty cockamamie reason. They don't say, Dave, what's your advice? But when they complain to me, I think, geez, well, they're my friends. They're my family, the people that I know, they're complaining. They have a situation, a problem, something. And they're telling me this, so maybe I should give them my point of view to help them out. Maybe they don't see another way of, of to the solution of whatever the hell they want. So I'm going to give them my point of view as I would do it for myself. Because David Bronstein doesn't wait for action to happen. I go after the cash and I don't wait for the cash. Every day, digital marketers are telling me I'm the greatest, I'm the hottest, I have 10 stores, 20 stores, I'm on Sears, I'm on Walmart, I'm on Bonanza, I'm on Wish, I'm going to put your products, I say, great! I'm going to just sit there waiting. I keep going on, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. It's never enough. I'm not going to sit there waiting. So where Angie took this gig, she said, oh, what is money? I'm going to make 100000 a month. That was the pitch, you can make 100000 a month, 150000 a month, fantastic! <laughs> now she's owed money. And now she doesn't know how to answer the money. She, I, I didn't say, Amy, what's with your new gig you have here? Did you ever get the money? I never asked these questions. She just came out. I said, hey, you want to go see Beauty and the Beast? She said, you know, I'm owed money. <laughs> oh, I, I'm owed money. I don't know how to ask for money. I have to send an invoice for money. But... So when she's telling me this, I figure, well, she's complaining. That, that's nothing new. But maybe I should give her some advice. Maybe I should give her some advice as I would tell myself. So I said, you, you stop doing business with these sole proprietorships, one-off guys. Just because you have a contract doesn't mean anything. The contracts are only as good as the people you're doing business with. Do business with big corporations. And, and you have a better, maybe a better chance. It's not one person that can decide whether to pay or not. It's a big corporation. It's payroll. It's whatever. Because when she works with big corporations, she never has to worry about money. Never we're getting the money. Gets it all the time. Why in her account? Why her account? Well, there's a pattern. She does business with these big corporations. Never has to worry about money. In the past, she does business sole proprietorships. He owes me money. I, he owes me. I have to wait for 30 days, 40 still owes me money, <laughs> chasing after the money. I said, so stop doing business sole proprietorship. You don't believe in me. You don't think I can do the job. <laughs> That's nothing to do with me. I don't know where the money. Said it's not a schmuck owes the money. Maybe he doesn't think. Why didn't she say to him? Why didn't she say, hey, you, you who owes me the money, you don't think I could do the job. You don't believe in me. That's why you're not paying. Why did she tell him? Because telling me is not going to do any good. What's she telling me for? The, who cares whether I believe in her or not? Who cares whether I think she can do the job or not? I don't owe her the money. The other guy owes her the money. Why did she add to him? She won't say it. Then she says it to me. What the hell? You see how crazy that is? Who cares? It, me not believing in Andrea and me not thinking she could do the job is not preventing the guy from giving Andrea the money. So who cares what the hell I believe in? <laughs> then we go to dinner. Go to Chinese food with Jared, and you've seen my Jared blog, he doesn't do shit. He's like, well, my... <sighs> cost me $150 for Chinese food last night. Is that what you, when you go out for Chinese food, it cost you, spend you $150? One time I went to this Chinese restaurant called The House of Chen. There's a nice clothing store next to it. I know the guy that owns a clothing store. So while we're waiting for the Chinese food, one of the clothing, the clothing store, it cost me $800. I was telling people, this is the most expensive Chinese food I ever bought. It cost me $800 for Chinese food. Because while I waiting for the Chinese food, I bought $800 in clothes. This was years ago. The store's not, the House of Chan closed up or somewhere else. The, uh, the clothing store's not there anymore. Everything's changed in this neighborhood. So I went out for Chinese food and like $150 Chinese food. Because I treated our friends that were crying. He won't agree with me. Why won't he agree with me? He never agreed anything I say. He doesn't agree. That was the whole purpose. That's why she was upset. And he's telling me, why won't she listen to me? I know what I'm talking about. I, I told him, look, when I talk to business associates or anybody, friends, and they tell me, I know what I'm talking about. I've been in the business for years. Why won't you listen to me? Why don't you trust what I have to say? I run for the hills. As soon as, the, the, and I, I hear that a lot. I know what I'm talking about. I've been in the business for years. Trust me when I know what I, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You've been, you've not been in the business. I've been in the business for years. I know what I'm talking about. I run for the hills. <laughs> because if they were that confident, they don't have to tell me that they know what the hell they're talking about. They just do what they do. And there's results. I don't care what you say. You have to have results. Like I posted on Facebook yesterday. In the David Bronstein world. My family hates that. My, oh, <laughs> And you just had many business partners. Oh, they're so busy. They're on phone calls. They're making emails. Don't make one dime. <laughs> but they're busy. They're working. You should see the calls I made today. Not one dollar. <laughs> I tell them, I don't care. I tell them my business partners. All my business associates. Phone calls, emails, meetings, texts, Skype, interviews. I don't care. If you don't make any money, I don't care. I don't care. You don't tell me how hard you're working. Just make money. That's all you have to do. I work one hour a day for the month. Make $100,000. 
but work eight hours a day for a month, don't make a dollar, I don't care. You have to make money. That's all there is. I don't get the time. <laughs> so I said to Jared, what did I bring that up? Oh, about the, I've had many, uh, I, I, why wouldn't he listen to me? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I don't care. $150 it cost me for dinner last night. I said, Jared, I'm sending messages to your mother, uh, messenger messages, and posts I see on Facebook that I think she'd be interested in. She tells me she can't open them up. She says, because the person that you're friends with, she's not friends with, so she can't open it up. <laughs> I said, well, how am I supposed to, to send her? How am I supposed to see the post I wanted to read? She's got to share it. I said, I do share it. Show Lauren, show Jared. I said, nobody looks at my post. That's why I say show Lauren, show Jared. How do I tag somebody? Jared says, why do I have to have all these questions? Can't I have a nice, relaxing dinner? Google it. Google how you t tag somebody on Facebook. <laughs> it cost me $150 last night for dinner. Five people, $30 a person. Jared had a beautiful meal. He had wonton soup. He had spare ribs. He had uh, okay chicken, even though it wasn't that okay. He had uh, lemon chicken. He had beef and broccoli, his favorite dish. Now, if I took you, if I said, listen, I'd like you to tell me how to tag somebody on Facebook. And if you tell me, I'll take you out for a $30 Chinese dinner. You get beef and broccoli, you get wonton soup, you get okay chicken, you get spare ribs, you get uh, fried rice. Would you say, okay, sure, Dave, are you kidding? I'll tell you for 30, I'll tell you for $10 for a meal at McDonald's. What would you say to me? If I said, this, what if I said, I'm gonna give you $30. Because I figured five people, $30 a person. Yeah, that's right, five people, I was joking. Five people, $30 a person. If I said, look, I'll give you $30. Jared. How's this? Don't come to dinner. I'll just give you the $30. Go get your own dinner. Or you can just buy whatever you want here. But here's $30. Now tell me, how do I tag people on Facebook? So when I have posts that I think you're interested in, your mother, Lauren, or friends that are interested in, and, and because now I, I know when I send Messenger, nobody can open it up. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. It's too risky. How do I tag you on Facebook? If you can tell me that, I'll give you $30. <laughs> Because that's what happened yesterday. I gave Jared $30. I bought him a $30 Chinese food meal. I said, how do I tag people on Facebook? He said, just go to Google. What? Google it. Go to Google. You'll figure it all out on Google. I don't want to answer these questions. <laughs> how can I not do this blog? My kid won't tell me how to tag people on Facebook. And you've seen my blogs many times. I'm inept. You see how inept, inept I am? I can't even figure out how to tag people on Facebook. So I said, Ed. so I did a blog right then and, there, and I did a blog in the Chinese restaurant. When Jared said that, I said, Jared, your mother's missing out these messengers, messages I'm sending. What do I have to do? He said, well, it's because she is not friends with your friend. That's why she can't open. I said, oh. I said, what do I, what do I do? How do, how do I share it? He said, you share it. I said, I do, but you know, look at it. So how do I tag people? I said, why do I have to answer these questions? Just Google it. Once he said that, I stopped the conversation. When he said, just Google it, I was in the middle of a conference to say, what do I, show me what I do, just Google it, I stopped. I said, excuse me, please. I got up from the table and I went into the hallway of the Chinese restaurant that you'll see in the blog I did and I blogged right there and there about Jared telling me to Google it. Google how to tag people on Facebook. And I didn't ask him, how do I build Facebook? I didn't ask him, how do I make another Instagram uh, uh, text app? Can you show me how to code that? <laughs> All I asked them was to show me how to tag somebody on Facebook. And in the middle of the count, and now when he said, why can't you just Google it? Of course, I did not say to him, I'm your father like David Jackson. I'm your father. You should show me what to do. I'm taking you out for dinner. How dare you talk? I, I'm not, I, I'm not going to say that. What good is that? I went, I did a blog about it because it's so crazy. Then, then Jerry goes to the men's room. I said, Andy, you want to see the blog I just did about Jerry? No, I don't want to see the blog. He's tired. Why do you leave him alone? He's doing, there's three jobs. Here we go again. <laughs> Jared has three jobs. He's too tired to tell you how to tag people on Facebook. He wasn't too tired to eat the, the, the $30 meal I gave him at the Chinese food restaurant. That part, he wasn't too tired. He wasn't too tired to eat the steak dinner I bought him and his girlfriend the week before for his birthday at the keg that cost me $80 just for him and his girlfriend, his $40 steak, his $10 uh, French onion soup, his girlfriend's $25 uh, chicken or fish dish. Plus tax, the $80 dinner I bought him last week, the $30 I bought him last night, last night, they weren't too tired to eat that, but he's too tired to tell me how to tag people on Facebook. <laughs> what if I said, listen, I'm gonna give you $80 and I'm gonna give you another $30, $120 I'm gonna give you, eight, nine, 10, 11, $10 I'm gonna give you. <laughs> I didn't, 
I'm going to give you $110. Would you show me how to tag somebody on Facebook? Because that's what happened. I bought Jared a $30 Chinese food dinner. I bought him an $80 dinner last night, last week with his girlfriend. $110, you think somebody could show me how to tag somebody on Facebook? So Andrew says, Jay, leave him alone. He's tired. He's too tired. Not too tired to eat the, 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 the $110 food I give him. That part's not too tired. Just too tired to show me how to tag people on Facebook. He has three jobs. And as always, I said, what are the... What are these three jobs? Whose three jobs is Jared doing? Bo, Larry, and Curly's job? Harpo, Zeppo, Groucho's job? Whose job is he doing? So in the car, I asked Jared, what are these three jobs your mother says you have? He said, well, I, I work for this YouTube channel. I said, oh, you work for a YouTube channel? Oh, yes. I said, how often do you work for the YouTube channel? About the, once every two weeks. I said, oh, you work for the YouTube channel once every two weeks. He said, oh, yeah. I said, when you go to work for the YouTube channel, how long are you there in the studio? Oh, about an hour. <laughs> so that's job one. One hour every two weeks. I said, what's the, the next job you do? He said, oh, I, I put on these characters. I play mascots. I put on these, like yesterday, I would say he was a Ninja Turtle. I said, you put on a costume for Ninja Turtle? He said, oh, yeah. I said, I said, how long have you been doing that? Well, I started it last year. I said, so how, how often do you do it? I did it a couple times. We're, we're five months into 2017. January, February, March. And four months into 2017. So 12 months and four months. 12, 13, 16 months. Did it a couple times. <laughs> That's job two. I said, what's job three? Well, I, I dance. Dances for bounces. The DJ comes to go to bar mitzvah. I know he dances for that. I said, oh, that's fantastic. But, you know, the bar mitzvahs, they're only on Friday and Saturday. Well, how often does he? It's not like he's dancing every morning, every night. He does a little school dance here. And now I'm going to have a fourth job. I said, what's the fourth job? I'm going to drive for Uber. <laughs> now, the, the Uber drivers, they drive the, uh, 10 hours a day. You're driving around waiting for a call to come in. When, when Andrew tells me Jared has three jobs, in my head, I said, well, uh, Jared, if I'm an extra and I do five movies, does that mean I have five jobs? He said, well, there's five gigs. I said, but if I say I'm an extra in a, in a movies, I got a, a job on Tuesday, one on Thursday, one on Friday. Does that mean I have five jobs? I have one job. <laughs> he says, well, you're an extra, so that's one job. I said, that's one job, but I have five gigs. But I have one job. So when your mother says you have three jobs, and David Bronstein's head, are we still rolling? David Bronstein's head. One job is mean you work at Starbucks, you work nine to five, that's one job. Eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. Then not after five o'clock, at six o'clock, you take your next job. You're working at McDonald's, that's two jobs. Then on the weekend, you're a security guard, and that's three jobs. You're working eight hours, each job per day, that's a job in David Bronson's world. You work nine to five, Monday to Friday at McDonald's. You work uh, uh, six to 11 at, at, at the coffee shop at Starbucks. On the weekend you're working, those are three jobs. But working at YouTube one hour every two weeks doing these mascots when you put the costume on, you did it a couple times in 14 months. These are jobs, these are three jobs. He was so tired. He, that's, how, that's why Jared couldn't show me how to Tag people on Facebook. Jesus Christ, he worked one hour and two weeks. He's very, very tired. Now go to Dave's TV World at Bell.net. You're not going to be tired. You're going to be flush with cash. You're going to be partying all day. And then maybe you could show me how to tag people on Facebook. Email me now, Dave's TV World at Bell.net. Everybody I'm taking for Chinese food dinner and steak dinners, $80 steak dinners, $30 Chinese food dinners. If you show me how to tag people on Facebook because Jared is too tired. He has three jobs. He works one hour every two weeks. Then he works putting on costumes three times in 14 months. He's tired. Dave TV World the Bell dot net. I, and that's my Sunday with Dave. Dave TV World the Bell dot net. I can't write this stuff.